Assalamu alaikum. Hi kids. Let's continue our lesson today with street food. Okay, street food. For today's lesson, you will talk about where food comes from. And you will also learn to spell the name of the food correctly. And finally, you will have to read and match sentences to pictures correctly. So, for today's lesson, you can refer to your student's book, page 58. And later on, you will have to answer some exercises on page 46 in your workbook. Okay. So, look at this one. So, street foods. What do you know about street food? What is the meaning of street? Okay, street, jalan, food, makanan. Okay, jadi, street food ialah makanan yang kita boleh dapati di kedai-kedai di tepi jalan. Okay, for example, we have, um, mungkin pasar malam pun boleh dianggap street food. Okay, mm, so, can you name any street food that you know? Hmm. Maybe you have burgers, you have mm, pizza, okay? What else? Okay, so today uh, we will learn about the street foods around the world, okay? We are going to learn about four street foods in different countries, okay? What's about we learn the new words first? Okay, so let's read together. The first one is yogurt, yogurt, jam, jam, noodles, noodles, soup, soup, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, crap, crap. Okay, so let's read this one. Sobla, okay, comes from Greece. Okay, can you look here? Okay, so okay, is in singular form. That's why we put S for the verb. Okay, let's read the second one. Noodles come from China. Can you see S here? S means plural. That's why we don't put S at the verb. Okay, so okay, comes from Greece. Noodles come from China, okay? For singular subject, we add S for the verb. But for plural subject, we don't add anything, okay? We use the base form, okay? So, for today's exercise, I want you to take note of this, okay? If you use singular subject, then make sure to add S for the verb. Okay, but for plural subject, no need to add anything. You just use the base form of the verb. Okay, so let's read together. Street food. Cheeseburgers come from the US. They're meat with cheese in bread. They're very good. Souvlaki comes from Greece. It's meat with vegetables in pita bread. Sometimes there's yogurt in it and chips too. Noodles come from China. You can have noodles with meat and vegetables. You can also have them in soup. They're yummy. Crepes come from France. They're like thin pancakes. French people eat crepes with cheese. There are also sweet crepes with jam or chocolate. So, what about we answer some questions, okay? So, the first one is, where do cheeseburgers come from? Hmm? How do you answer this, okay? Look here, cheeseburgers with S means it's plural, so we use they, okay? They, so they come or they comes. Do you want to add S or no S? Okay, 
so think of the rules okay if the singular subject you have to add s or es but for plural subject you just use its base form okay so they come or they comes which one you decide okay so what about the second one where does sub lucky come from okay you use it because the subject is singular so if the subject is singular what happened to the verb it come or it comes which one okay so i want you to write this in your english exercise book okay answer number one to number four based on the street food that you have read just now okay so have you answered all these questions can we check the answers now make sure you answer the question first before you continue watching this video okay so that you know whether your answers are correct or not okay so look at the first one where do cheeseburgers come from so first of all you have to identify the subject here okay if subject is plural then you have to use the base form of the verb okay so now that we know cheeseburgers are plural so you shouldn't add any s after the verb okay so how do you answer this they come from the u.s good they come from the u.s what about the second one where does surf lucky come from so look at this one singular or plural singular good singular because there is no s here so if singular you use it and then you have to add s after the verb so your answer should be it comes from greece okay it comes from greece what about the third one where do noodles come from good they come from china why don't we add s here because the subject is plural good okay what about number four where do crabs come from okay can you see the s here it means that the subject is plural so if the subject is plural you don't have to add any s after the verb so how do you answer this question they come from france good okay so it's done let's continue with your workbook okay you can turn to page 46 to complete this task okay you have to find the name of the food circle them and then write okay it's easy find circle and then write okay hopefully you can complete these six names of the foods by spelling all the name correctly okay so do your best and for this one you have to read and mesh okay just to have you have just you just have to read and then you mesh to the correct foot okay read and mesh okay so that's all for today's lesson hopefully by now you can talk about where food comes from as well as you can spell the name of the food correctly and hopefully you can read and mesh sentences to pictures correctly okay so don't forget to complete all your tasks so see you in the next lesson bye